Today on Healthful Indian Flavors with Alumelu, Alumelu will prepare a flavorful and innovative dish called tuna masala and an irresistible and wholesome snack called chickpea and mango sundal. She will also show you how to select proper lentils and legumes for use in the kitchen. All coming up next. Today we will be preparing three delightful dishes. We will be making a lentil based carrot sambar, chickpea mango sundal and the third one will be an innovative dish called tuna masala. Now let's prepare carrot sambar. What is sambar? Sambar is a uniquely South Indian dish that has become popular throughout India. Sambar is a very nutritious saucy dish cooked with lentils and vegetables. It is a wholesome sauce of medium consistency and it is generally served with rice or special breakfast items. I have many North Indian friends who even enjoy sambar as a soup. It is important to note that sambar does not use any heavy cream or flour as a thickening agent. The lentils used in preparing the sambars are called dals and the dals form the thickening ingredient. You can prepare sambar with any one of the three types of lentils. We have tuwar dal, masur dal and mung dal. Traditionally sambar is made with tuwar dal. Tuwar dal takes only about 30 minutes to cook. Boil four cups of uh, water in a tall saucepan. Add half a cup of tuwar dal and quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Then you reduce the heat to medium and cook uncovered for 30 minutes until dal becomes creamy like this. See? If water evaporates during the cooking process, add another cup of water and cook until dal becomes soft and creamy. If it's not creamy, then you can also use the masher to mash the cooked dal. Today I'm going to prepare carrot sambar. Carrots are rich in vitamin A, K, C, dietary fiber and potassium. Carrots are known to promote good vision, especially night vision. Here I have a cooked dal and I'm going to slice the carrots, okay? I peeled the carrots and I'm going to cut the carrots uh, evenly. So they cook evenly and, and I have some fresh vegetables here. So here we have some carrots, about one cup of uh, uh, sliced carrots and we have half a cup chopped onion, quarter cup chopped tomato and quarter cup of chopped coriander and we have all the spices assembled here okay. We have one dried uh, red pepper, quarter teaspoon of sapotida, uh, then we have quarter teaspoon fenugreek seeds, one teaspoon mustard seeds, one teaspoon wura dal, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoons sambar powder, quarter teaspoon tamarind paste, and half a cup of tomato sauce and one teaspoon salt. Now we have our dal that's already cooked and we are going to keep all of this close to our cooking and now I'm going to heat the pan, okay? I'm going to heat the pan and I'm going to use two to three teaspoons of canola oil, okay? When the oil is hot but not smoking, I'm just going to add the pepper and then I'm going to add asafoetida and then I'm going to be using fenugreek seeds by itself. It's very hot so I'm just removing it here. No, oops. Mustard seeds, urad. And then I'm going to add my onions here. And uh, I'll add my tomatoes. See, when you saute the spices, 
And when you add the onions and tomatoes, it gives a very good aroma. I wish you could smell this wonderful aroma here. So we add the onions and tomatoes. Now I'm going to add the turmeric powder. Turmeric is an amazing spice. It, it, is, it has antioxidant property, anti-inflammatory. More and more research is pointing out how great the turmeric is. And now that we sauteed the onions and tomatoes, we are going to add the carrots. Beautiful carrots. It's uh, deep orange in color. And then what I'm going to do is, when I finish sauteing it, I'm going to increase the heat a little bit now. And then I'm going to add the sambar powder. Sambar powder is a combination of many spices. It's readily available, okay? So we just have to get that and add it to the sambar. And then I'm going to add my uh, tomato sauce. And I'm going to add another uh, wonderful tamarind paste. I like using this, so we are going to use this. And then I'm going to take some water and add it to the carrots. Now we will add our lentil. See this lentil, how creamy it is. It's high in protein and fiber. And you can actually cook the dal and freeze it. And you can take it whenever you're ready to make the sambar. And we have the tuber dal uh, cooked here. So I'm going to add that. Doesn't that look good and wholesome? And I'm going to increase the heat and let this come to a boil. And I have to add some salt. See, because of the spices, uh, you really don't even need to use the salt because uh, spices are a great substitute for salt. And of course, if I'm preparing for myself, I can do it without the salt. But if I'm preparing for my husband, he will say, Alamelu, you cook really well, but you did not use salt. So we are adding a little bit of salt. And when this comes to a boil, I'm going to add uh, some uh, coriander that is chopped cilantro. Okay, so there you are. We made the carrot samba. We are in the Indian grocery store, uh, Sri Gayatri Foods in Brookfield, Wisconsin. We are here to pick up some uh, lentils and some spices and rice. Once when we assemble all these ingredients, we are well on our way to cooking. First of all, legumes are lentils, peas, and dried beans. We have the tuber dal, which we will use in our cooking. So I'm going to pick some. And we also have mung dal. Uh, lentils are known as dal in India. And all different kinds of lentils are used in cooking. It's high in protein and fiber. This particular mung dal cooks very quickly, so we need to get some mung dal. Then we also need yellow split peas. Yellow split peas is so amazing. It cooks very quickly in 20 minutes. When you combine this with vegetable, with ginger and coconut, makes an awesome dish. So we are going to take some split peas. And another favorite uh, lentil, which is uh, urad dal, uh, when you combine urad dal with mustard seeds, uh, it gives a very appealing taste to any vegetable dish. So we need some urad dal. And then we also have the masur dal. And it's called uh, actually red split lentils. This also cooks very quickly and when we combine all these uh, lentils with rice and vegetables it gives a very appealing different different texture see all these lentils here they are all in different colors different size so when you combine all of this when you cook with each lentil different vegetable and rice each one will give a different taste 
texture and it's very good for you. It's high in protein and fiber. So we have just enough. So let's go cook. We are going to be preparing chickpea and mango sundal. Chickpea and mango sundal is an irresistible and healthful dish. It is cooked with chickpeas, seasoned with spices, mango, and garnished with coconut. Doesn't that sound good? This dish is a nutritional powerhouse. It is also incredibly tasty and it is easy to prepare. Chickpeas are also known as garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans are high in protein and fiber. Garbanzo beans contribute to digestive and heart and health. Known to maintain blood sugar level while providing steady, slow burning energy. It has a nice nutty and buttery taste. We can get chickpeas dried or canned in the regular grocery store. Here I'm using canned chickpeas. We open the can, drain and rinse and that's what I have here before use. These chickpeas are now ready to be cooked. And then we have the mangoes. Mangoes are high in fiber. It is nutritious and delicious fruit. We can get riped or unriped mangoes in the grocery stores. Riped ones are eaten as a fruit. It's delicious. Unriped ones are used in cooking so that the vegetable dish that we prepare won't be mushy and it will still be slightly crunchy. Mangoes are known as the king of fruits. Then we have ginger. Ginger is known for its healing powers. Ginger is an effective remedy in prevention of nausea and is also known as a powerful painkiller. An anti-inflammatory and aids in digestion. Ginger tea, an Indian chai, is often prepared with fresh grated ginger. Now let me show you how I have assembled the ingredients. We have one red pepper, one teaspoon mustard seeds, one teaspoon urad dal, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon chutney powder, half a teaspoon salt, one tablespoon unsweetened powdered coconut. And for fresh ingredients, we have, of course, the chickpeas here that is already rinsed and drained, about 16 ounce each can. I have two cans of chickpeas and one fresh mango. Let me show you one fresh mango and teaspoon of ginger. Let me show you how to cut the mango. See, when you want to cut the mango, you want to take it and cut it in the side like that. It's a beautiful mango to cook. It's nice and not too ripe. So I'm going to kind of make this into small, even slices, just like the chickpeas, okay? So we are going to cut the mangoes. Mangoes are my favorite, you know? As I'm preparing this dish, I remember as a child going to Marina Beach in Madras, now known as Chennai, there are vendors walking around people in the beach asking if they would like to buy the freshly prepared sunda. I was treated to such delicious treats by my family. So we have about a cup of mango all evenly sliced. So we have that and we need the ginger, right? So I'm going to grate the ginger. Let's put the mango here. Take the ginger. You know this is a grater for ginger. It's really quick and easy. So you just place this right here and you use your hand and move the ginger back and forth and you get a good grated ginger. See that? Look at that. Isn't that like magic? It's amazing. So we just put the ginger in here. Ginger enhances the flavor of the dish. Okay. So we have chickpeas here, mangoes here, and then we are ready to cook. So let me heat up the, my skillet. We want our skillet to be hot. I think it is. And then I'm going to add about two teaspoons of canola oil. Okay, I'm going to put one red pepper, see if it is hot. Now I'm going to add my black mustard seeds. Usually if the 
oil is hot and not smoking. That is a very important point to remember. If the oil is too hot, what you can do is you can take the pan and wait here and then add the spices and then bring it back. Okay, so see that popping sound? Can you hear that? And now I'm going to add my urad dal. Urad is high in protein and fiber. Combination of red pepper uh, infused in oil with black mustard seeds and uh, urad dal gives an amazing flavor. Okay, and this is very um, it. Uh, this is an important technique called tempering. And uh, may, uh, when we cook the vegetable dishes, this is an important step. Okay, see my urad dal is nice and brown. I'm going to add my chickpeas to it. Mmm, looks good. And now I'm going to add the turmeric. See, well, the reason why I have all the spices set up like this is when the oil is hot, you want to add all the spices right away. Um, so that's why we set up the spice plate like this. We added the turmeric. Growing research is pointing more to the health benefits of the turmeric. And also it gives a nice beautiful yellow color. See that? And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my cup of mangoes in here. See how beautiful it is. I love mangoes. Uh, even when you slice the mango and add some uh, cumin to it, it makes a great snack. Now I'm going to add the chutney powder. Chutney powder is a combination of many spices that is readily available in the Indian grocery stores. So we don't have to roast them or, you know, grind them into a powder. That's all readily available. And now I'm going to add my ginger. Ginger gives a great taste to the dish. It's a very easy dish to put it together because chickpeas is already nice and soft. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this unsweetened powdered coconut. See how flaky it is? And it's just, uh, it's like a garnish, okay? So I like to make this often as a nice uh, snack or serve it as a side dish. And that's it. Look at the color of this dish. Isn't that beautiful? Now we will be preparing tuna masala. It's also my favorite dish. You will ask me, what is a masala? A masala is a vegetable or a meat dish cooked with a blend of spices and herbs. Here I have canned tuna in oil. I prefer to use tuna in oil because it tastes better and has a better texture, okay? Now let's see what we need to do in order to prepare tuna masala. And I have assembled all the spices here, so I'm going to go through the spices. I have two to four slivers of cinnamon stick, quarter teaspoon fennel seeds, half a teaspoon cumin seeds, two teaspoons wura dal, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, two teaspoons curry powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I have the fresh ingredients, one cup of chopped onions, quarter cup chopped tomatoes, four to six cloves of garlic, and I have one green chili minced. Then I have a quarter cup of tomato sauce, and I have the oil, uh, tuna in oil drained, and I have quarter cup of minced fresh coriander, okay? Well, when we assemble the ingredients like this, cooking is so much easier, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is we want to make sure the pan is hot. When the uh, pan is hot, we are just going to add a couple of teaspoons of canola oil, okay? Canola oil is kind of light, and it it's very good. It infused, when it's infused, 
uh, all the spices infused in the oil, it gives a great aroma. So we are going to start, usually cinnamon stick comes in a long bark. What I did was I just had the cinnamon stick um, chopped into small slivers, okay? Cinnamon is very good for you. It actually, it is supposed to uh, control the blood sugar level, okay? Blood, uh, it's really good. Now we just added the cinnamon. The oil needs to get a little bit hot. Then I'm going to add the fennel. Do you know that fennel and cumin are digestive spice? So we are going to add and watch how it sizzles. And when it sizzles, it releases the aroma of the spice, okay? So all the dry spices, you want to saute it in the oil. Powder, you add it later. And this is called wurad dal. You'll say, what is wurad dal? It's actually a black gram dal. It has a black skin over it, but now the one that I'm using, they have skinned it and they have split the bean. It's high in fiber and it adds a crunchy taste to a dish. So we are just browning the spices. When wurad dal turns golden, what we are going to do is we are going to add the onions. It's turning brown. We don't want to um, roast it too much. So we are going to add the onions. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes. And then I'm going to add my garlic. Huh. I wish you were here to smell this wonderful aroma. So we are going to saute this. And I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit. And then I'm going to add my amazing uh, turmeric powder. Turmeric powder is known as Indian gold. And uh, as I said before, turmeric has a lot of wonderful health benefits. So when we have sauteed the onions, tomatoes, garlic, we can also add some chilies, OK? Chilies are not going to kill us. It's, it's going to add a zest to our veg, to our dish. So we'll add some chilies. But if you're not comfortable with chilies, forget that. Or even for that reason, if you do not have one spice, it's not going to spoil the dish. Let's say you did not have fennel seeds, but you can still go ahead and use this uh, recipe without the fennel seeds. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. And I'm going to build a solid base, and then I'm going to add the curry powder. This is actually a commercial blend curry powder. Okay, when we have all these sauce, um, you know, with, our, with the spices, it tastes so good. And then I'm going to add some salt. When it all comes together, that's when I'm going to add my tuna. This is such a big winner with kids, adults, and you can you believe you can serve this as an appetizer over a cracker? Uh, right now, they have a phyllo shell, which is very good too. And now, we are going to add our amazing coriander. It's also called cilantro, okay? So let's add some cilantro here and mix it up. That's it, and you just let it cook for a few minutes, and there you have it, an aromatic, flavorful tuna masala dish. Oh, it smells so good. Today we prepared two authentic South Indian dishes. Here we have carrot sambar, and it can be served with rice or with bread. As we mentioned earlier, 
Although sambar is a traditional South Indian dish, it has become popular throughout India. Another authentic dish called chickpea mango sundal that can be served as snack or as a side dish with any meal. Then we also prepared this innovative dish called tuna masala which can be served as an appetizer with crackers or as a tuna masala sandwich. I hope you will prepare these dishes and enjoy them with your family and friends. Let me remind you that even if you don't have some spices that a recipe calls for, it is still okay. Just follow the recipe and your dish will turn out well. It's not like a cake recipe that you have to have all the ingredients with precise measurements. Just have fun cooking. Let me conclude by saying, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. May you all be healthy and happy. Until next time, Vanakkam. To order a copy of Alomelu's cookbook, including recipes from this series and many more, visit mptv.org and click on the store icon. The cost of the book is $32 plus shipping and handling. For more information on this episode of Healthful Indian Flavors with Alamelu, and to get information on some of the recipes prepared on today's show, log on to our website at mptv.org.